This is a CBS 4 News update. Hi, I'm Elliot Rodriguez with the CBS 4 News update. A Northeast Miami-Dade family is devastated after a grandmother was shot and killed outside her daughter's home. Close friends say Linda Marks was killed last night along Northeast 211th Street, west of Aventura, a day after celebrating her birthday. Police have identified the shooter as Stephen Kazminov, her son-in-law. Police say he turned the gun on himself in Hollywood. It's not clear what led to the argument at the home before it turned violent. Marks, a well-known South Florida realtor, was 70 years old. Longtime South Florida law enforcement figure Frank Adderley is no longer working for the Broward Sheriff's Office. Adderley told CBS 4 News that he was fired on Monday saying, quote, I have no ill feelings and I wish the new sheriff much success. Adderley worked under former Sheriff Scott Israel's command staff since 2016, overseeing several divisions, including the 911 communication system as colonel. He also served with the city of Fort Lauderdale more than uh, several years, three decades as police chief. And today is day 25 of the government shutdown and there appears to be no end in sight. President Trump says Democrats are playing politics while Democrats say the president won't stop until he gets what he wants. Both sides have refused to budge over $5.7 billion for a wall along the U.S. border with Mexico. 800,000 federal employees are working without pay or furlough. And some good news, we now know who will host music's biggest night, which is just weeks away. No stranger to the Grammys herself, Alicia Keys will shift from Grammy winner to Grammy host. CBS and the Recording Academy announced that the 15-time Grammy winning singer will host the 61st annual Grammy Awards in Los Angeles next month. Keys says she can't wait to celebrate creativity, power, and magic on the biggest night of music, which will be broadcast live from Los Angeles on February 10th at 8 p.m. right here on CBS4. Now, CBS4 weather. Elliot, we've seen some clouds around today as evidenced by our Key West camera. Lots of clouds there. Uh, sky almost looking like if it was much, much colder, it could possibly snow. Well, maybe not. Here's what's going on across our area, though. High pressure is still in control of our weather, given it's a northerly wind and more cool nights and sunny or sunnier days in store for your Thursday and Friday. Then that high slides on off to the east, and as it does, our temperatures warm up, warmer and a little more humid as we get into the weekend for Saturday. And then Sunday looking even warmer yet with a chance for showers. That's ahead of a strong Arctic cold front. But I think our cool down for Monday will be a brief one. So temperature wise, it looks like this comfortably cool, pleasant sunshine, highs warming up out of the low 70s and the upper 70s and low 80s by the weekend. Lows coming out of the 50s, back into the 60s, and then a brief but sharp cool down for Monday, and then looking kind of eh, not so nice by Tuesday. Elliot? Craig, thanks. That's our news for now. You can always find us at CBSMiami.com and tune into CBS4 News at 5, 6, 7, and 11 for all the day's important headlines.